the world produces constant noise. But one man is on the lookout, listening for a very particular kind of noise, one that may save lives. We travel to northern Greenland to see how he's using high technology in one of the most remote corners of the world. Here in Kanuk, Greenland's most northern town, where huskies outnumber people, conditions are brutal. Winter temperature is about minus 20. In the winter, snow and ice and constant darkness makes it difficult to access the elements. In this barren location, one of the world's most remote, 1,100 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle, Sven Erik and the team are tracking an invisible prey. Working around the clock, they run an infrasound station to track atomic blasts across the planet. This station is part of the comprehensive nuclear test ban treaties network of sensors that monitors the globe for violations of the agreement which bans nuclear explosions. This treaty was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in 1996. Atomic explosions produce distinctive low-frequency sound waves that can travel across continents. Sensors record them. Every day, all day, rain or shine, the station listens for nuclear noise. If they detect any, the data is analysed and assessed to help determine whether this was indeed an atomic explosion. And to make sure no explosion slips through the net, Sven Derek, during the harsh, dark winter months to come, will be on the front line, keeping the station running to catch any nuclear blasts.